one of the coolest parts of shows like the Syracuse Nationals is you get to see cars like this. A fixer-upper needs a little bit of work, you know, a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, a good set of tools, and you might just wind up with something that looks like this. This is Dave Tucci's 1955 Nomad, twin turbo power, 1600 horsepower. Now we covered parts of this car a couple of weeks ago as it was just about ready to emerge and go out on the Hot Rod Power Tour. Well, now the car's here at the Nats and obviously it's the source of a lot of admiration. Mike Zarnock is going to follow up on the interview he did with Dave Tucci Jr. and talk about the final stages of the build and what it's like to put 1600 ponies on under the hood of something that looks like this. Hey everybody, we're at the Syracuse Nationals with Dave Tucci, I caught up with Dave. Remember the 55 Nomad that we talked about and looked at a couple of months ago? The car is done and it is totally phenomenal. Dave. Mike. How, how you been, good, man? Good, very good. <laughs> you took this thing out on the Power Tour, how'd that go? Well, we didn't make the Power Tour, but we went to Columbus okay. and for the Nationals and we did well. We got a lot of response. Uh, we got a Roy Brizio. Um, Builder's Choice Award. You got an award with the car already. Yeah, You're already. Yeah, amazing. It, was, it amazing. was so much fun. It was uh, it was hot. It was there was we got a lot of attention on it. People were all over the well, car. I can't imagine you getting attention out of was, a bright orange car with 1600 horse, yeah. twin turbo. Yeah. I mean, yeah, my we've God. had it on the dyno since then. We, you know, we're uh, we're making about 700 foot pounds of torque at about 4500 RPM. How are you keeping is, the tires on this thing? It's, oh, a, it's a stick car. Stick car. Yep, and it's a drivable. Nice, clean, you know, unbelievable cruising car. Man. Now, yep. what are you using for fuel? Just regular pump gas. Regular pump yep. gas. Unbelievable. Yep. Pump yeah. gas. That's that's phenomenal. Yeah. So, so. Uh, I mean, just driving around with 1,600 horse under your under your foot. How's it? it? It's great. The way that these work, the twin turbos, you're basically running on the motor, which is about 600 horse, and it's it's cruise is beautiful. If you want power, it's always there. You just hammer it. You know, get after it, and it's it's it must be. all kinds of power. It's all <laughs> what you ever you never need. No one that is there. I mean, have you been playing with it a little bit? A little bit, a little bit. We got a little bit of breaking in to do. You know, there's there's always bugs to go through, so we're we're coming in easy. Um, I have the customer Jim Alley here at Syracuse. We're gonna get um, to talk to Jim in a little while. Yep, and this is the first time he's seen it in person, which is. Have you let him drive it yet? Not yet. <laughs> not yet. So no, we're gonna. We're gonna go down. He's gonna uh, he's gonna take it home on Sunday, and we're gonna we're gonna oh. drive it a little. You're bit You're gonna let him take goes. it home. You're gonna uh, let him take his car home. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, these cars. We I put our it. heart and soul in these things. Oh, I know. But they're uh, they're know. great. We're here with Jim Alley, and Jim is the guy that owns the Nomad that Dave Tucci put together. How you doing, Jim? I'm doing great. Great, great to meet you, great man. Great day in Syracuse, Isn't New York. Isn't it fantastic? Yeah. <laughs> Sun is shining. Uh, yeah. So now you have this beautiful new Nomad. What did you think of? it when you saw it for the first time? Oh, I, was, I was completely blown away. When we originally started on the car, uh, Dave and I worked very close on what needed to be done on the car. And uh, now you, you told know, David what you wanted. Yeah, originally we had a drawing done. It was done by Brent Gill, a very good friend of mine. Brent's a pretty well-known uh, artist that does uh, car renditionings for other car mm -hmm. builders and stuff like that. And I went to, went to him, I said, look, this is what I want to do with this Nomad I have. And, uh, uh, basically, what you see here is probably the original drawing that was done for the car. Now, how did you pick the big block with twin turbos? I mean, there's a lot well, of different that, combinations. That was sort of something. Originally, it was started out, it was going to be just a crate motor, big block Chevrolet is right. what it was going to be. And when the car got it days, we started to put the motor in it and uh, uh, got involved with another fellow from Syracuse here. And uh, he was a big turbo guy and uh, sort of talked us into it. and. I One think thing to, led to another. Yeah, and well, I think to bring I think to bring the car into the 21st century, it needed to have a turbo motor in it. So that's oh, that's, that's uh, the way we went with it. 1600 so. horse. Now you could have had like 3500 horse, yeah. but you just went with 1600. I'm a big I'm a big horsepower motorhead. So with, with, <laughs> with a, a, a six speed stick. Yep. Yep. That is yep. unbelievable. Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. We're uh, really excited about the car. We're taking it back to uh, St. Petersburg. Oh, and, Dave's uh, letting you take the car. Yep. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's, he's going to let you take it. He's going to give me it, give so. me it for a, for a couple <laughs> weeks and then go back to Louisville. I think with it. Now, you, you, your company. <laughs> yeah, it's called Profile Racing. We're out of St. Pete, Florida. Uh, we're very well known. Uh, we've been in business for 42 years. Uh, very well known for our uh, very high end American made bicycle products BMX, uh, stuff. BMX uh, freestyle, mountain bike, uh, fixed gear. Uh, we uh, manufacture everything in house in our shop now in did Florida. You, you, you did some parts on this car, right? We did a lot of parts on it, yeah. It's a shame because a lot of it is hidden. We did a billet, complete billet rear end for the car. 
a lot of a lot of the hinges. Yep. yep. Uh, all the grill pieces were done by us. Dave did some of the bending, but most of the uh, trim and stuff like that was all out of CNC, either stainless or aluminum that's, parts. That's it was a great project, and working with Dave was—he's uh, a great person to work with. I mean, we—we yeah. we, I think we thought across the same lines all the time on what we wanted, and he knew what I wanted, and uh, it worked out very well. It was a—it was a pleasure uh, having him build a car. It really was. <laughs> One of the coolest parts of Miss Ah. No, no nomad. No, no mad. No mad. Okay, Dad.